join the show. Hey, but you know that uh that parasite shit got me kind of spooked. So y'all see how I'm, I'm, I'm getting prepared. Brother and Hot Tim ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? Why I'm on this fast? This is day number four. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna kill these motherfuckers. So look, we got that. We got that uh gin that uh, vinegar ambrosia. I got the cinnamon, the turmeric, coconut oil, and some death eater. We about to get it in. Peace. We're gonna talk a little bit more about parasites. I know that kind of freaks you out, but we got to. Shouts out to Miss Sheila. Uh, she always she does, she one of the early morning troopers. Early morning troopers. I'm like, wow. I just, hey, here we go. We about to drink our water. Stay hydrated, family. Get that water in you. As they say, doctors. I never heard Doctor Savy say it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, sending shots out to Doctor Savy, but. I understand he taught that the body was electric, right? Like that life energy, right, that flows through it. So we got to give it something to flow on, right? So we're going to toast. Um, we're going to drink that water. Stay hydrated, family. When I said I never heard Dr. Savy say it, is that I've never really seen Dr. Savy. Um, I just really found out about him. Well, actually, I found out about him years ago because uh, one of my elders was talking about him. But I never really seen any of his videos and stuff, so I hear a lot of people say he say that. So I don't want to be misquoting somebody, but I want to salute them if they did. So we want this to help electricity or the eye shade flow through our bodies we toast and we you know we drink up this water mm. now we still experiment with that chloro oxygen I have noticed in my meditations I'm able to I'm able to retain my breath or my break, my breathing exercises. I'm I'm able to maintain my breath just a little bit longer. Um, so, you know, do now when I do my review on it, I'm gonna tell you some of the drawbacks because it's kind of freaky. Because if I now I haven't been eating, if I stick out my tongue, got green stuff on my tongue so I try not to drink nothing before I come here so this 
my tongue is stained green and uh, my stool is green. So, you know, you got to get used to it because you, you, you dropping green poop. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's crazy, right? And then you, I mean, you start feeling it and you it hits you and it start works and working real fast. But we'll talk a little bit more about this probably within the next week because we still got to finish our review or at least the first half of our review of um, the black seed oil as well. I ain't let y'all see the color this time because we've been doing this for a while. So y'all know is that it's dark green. So I'm going to finish that drink. saying you're just waiting to be eight i'm gonna eat this as soon as i come off my fast family i promise and if i ran out of if i ran out of ambrosia like today i'm gonna pull it out and put it in a plastic bag put it in the refrigerator and i'm gonna eat that this is that ginseng ambrosia nice and aged exposed to the air i'm about to go downstairs and cap the other one because i'm almost out of ambrosia but you know what's good about that my next, my next batch is ready. I will check on it tonight. Hmm. For those that never seen a lot of ginseng root. And speaking of roots, Miss Sheila, I have not received my uh, dandelion root yet. For those that never seen the ginseng root. See that? I call it the man root. Because it look like a little man. See little head on top? Look at it. You got the little head on top. And you got the body. The man root. Um, so I'm going to say that for... When I am done with this fast, which I don't know, you know, some of y'all, if you know me, I'm funny like that. I don't want to claim stuff that I am not able to do, so I just do it. So I'm on day four. So here we go. The only thing I'm doing is the ambrosia, uh, the coconut oil, this, all the stuff for this drink. So I'm just drinking, drinking a lot of water. Um, a lot of stuff to help clean me out, the chlorooxygen, um, coconut water. I'm also doing coconut water too. Alright, so we're going to toast. First, we call on our creator by whatever name we choose to call that creator. We call on that creator to bless and guide us and strengthen us in everything we think, say, and do. We call on that creator to touch our hearts and to touch the hearts of those that are around us. We, we call on the creator to touch the body of those uh, uh, that's around us. <laughs> hey, I'm patient. Actually, that give them more time to dry, so that might have been right on time. So we we, we continue our toast, right? We, we we toast to create and we call on that energy to be be around us, be present, and to flow from us and back into us. All right, we toast that create and we say I shake. From there, we toast our personal ancestors. We call on our grandmothers and our grandfathers. We toast them. We lift them up. We toast our, our, our mothers and our fathers. We toast our aunts and our uncles. We toast our friends and our cousins. All those loved ones that help to put in time to help make us. We just went through a memorial day, right? And it's, and it's, and it's good that as a society we recognize those people who played a major part in, 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 in our lives. Not just the military, but people that played a major part in our lives. And it's good that we remember them. It's good that we have festive activities around them. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm suggesting that we do a little bit more of that in our families, in our communities, in our tribes. Why? Because that brings us together. 
that gives us uh, time to remember, that gives us time to tell stories about our family lines, which our children need to know, right? Because, you know, we need our children to understand that stories go farther than just the movies, you know what I'm saying? We need to let our children know that we have a stake in history. And as you know, it's just as deep as, as, as the Star Wars saga and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? We need to make sure that our, our children understand that we play a role in this thing called life, right? So we toast those ancestors and we remember them, right? We call on them. We ask for them to be active in our lives and we are active in theirs because we're getting up and toasting. I want to send shouts out to... To Brother Calvin, and we're gonna run down um, my family line, and then y'all can throw some of y'all's up. I'll let some of y'all throw some up real quick before I start my family line. But you know, it's all about us toasting our ancestors and, and, and remembering them because that energy is a certain energy, you know what I'm saying? With, with our minds, that I shake, right? When we send that I shake out, it comes back, right? So, those of us that, that, that had a way with all to get up and do this toast or even to participate in it we send an energy out and that energy is being is being flipped and sent right back to us right through blessings and through whatever you know what i'm saying through healing through whatever we need because we're asking so we toast those ancestors i go miles brown Mizan, robert and Texas, Santa davis Herman brown senior rosalie tilly georgia william walter christopher and gaston aunt lena uncle chris geneva brown cleveland brown margaret ellis Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, No More X, um, Mama Malika, Jamon Jones, Montague Pittman L, Dr. Mary Ann Williams, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Brother Sepat, Elder Hairston. Elder Donaldson. Mm. Mm. I say Jamon Jones yet. Jamon Jones. Um, I can't remember anymore right now. They're not coming to my mind. But all those that's in our minds that was able to come out of our mouths and all those that's in our hearts. We toast them and we say, I say. From there, we move to this present moment, we call on the day which is Ujima. <sighs> Powerful day, family. Powerful day. But those of you that tune in, I'm going to kind of mess you up because I'm going to run down a list of some of these parasites. God damn. Excuse my language. In the middle of a toast. But I am freaked out. I'm freaked out about these. Ugh. All right. But on this day, Ujima, collect the work of responsibility. I feel it's my responsibility to make sure y'all know what's creeping out here and, and how people get it, right? And, you know, because we kind of talked about how to deal with it yesterday and I am mixed up a drink that I'm I'm going to consume while I'm on this fast and a little bit afterwards, but I'm going to perfect this and I'm going to bottle this up and call it that parasite killing um, ambrosia. So we toast this present moment, Ujima, and we say... I say, from there, we move on to our children, our children's children, or to infinity. You know, it's too early for Sasha and Gina to be up. Um, Cleve about to get up in a minute because he got to start practicing on his, uh, learning his computer language. But, you know, like I said, we got to get our children prepared for the future, do we not? All right? Um, so we toast um, our children, our children's children, on to infinity. The last I toast you, I toast you, and whatever you may need from the ancestors, whatever you may need from the creator, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know, I toast and just special libations. If anybody got any special libations that they want me to toast, just like with the ancestors, throw it up. If you have something um, um, going on in your life, throw it up. You throw it up on Facebook with me live, you know what I'm saying, when you catch it there or on YouTube. Put it down below in the in the comments. You know what I'm saying. So with that, but I tell, drink it. Is that just saying, Ambrosia? By the way. Hmm. 
very mature and bitter. I like it. <clears throat> Woo! Alright. Getting that microbiome together, y'all. Help fight those parasites. Yeah, I'm going to be saying parasites for the next couple of days because that shit blew my mind. Oh, my God, fam. Listen. It, listen. They say that these things communicate through chemicals and are able to influence our behaviors. Do, 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 I mean, do y'all, I mean, do you understand that, right? Influence behavior because they able to release the same chemicals that your neurons release. So in a sense, it's telling your body what they want. What? So it's a possibility that we be in control from the outside as well as the inside. I can't. You can't fuck with me like that. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't allow that. Now. Not at all, right? So we gonna I'm gonna finish this up and get I'm gonna get right into these little these little ooh mm, I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna drink that. I'm gonna kill them along with this. Kill them. Mm. All right, Facebook, we love you, but we gotta go. Time for me to get into the show. I love y'all. Y'all take it easy. Peace. All right, YouTube fam. It's just us. And I'm going to read a little bit about these parasites. I was going to talk about some of the herbs that I use and just review. All right. Uh, to review, but nah, nah, we about to get into this whole parasite conversation once again. I'm sorry, some call this parasites number two, right? And I know y'all like, brother, I tell you, going a little bit too far with these. I just found some shit last night. I just want to read it to you, and I, I, I'm gonna mess up the words and all that. This is going to mess it up more than usual, right? Because I want you to see the varieties and the parts of the body that these, these, these things attack, right? And a lot of them, we may be safe from in America. We may be not. But there are ones that's here, all right? All right. All right, fam. Here we go, right? So... Um, I'm looking and I'm I'm going through Wikipedia and I know Wikipedia is not a trusted source, but you know, in this case I'm going to I mean because I think probably aren't that too or far off, alright? Um So they start with what they call protozoan organisms. Common name of organism. Um like they got a whole bunch, so I'm gonna just run through them and tell you what they attacked. They got one called the granulomatos amoebic in in encephalitis and acanthomebia caryitis eye infection. Um it affects the eye, brain and skin. You find it by a culture and it affects worldwide. How do you get it? Contact lenses cleaned with tap water. You got granumotos, amoebic encephalitis, skin infection, brain and skin, worldwide via respir respiratory tract or skin lesions. You have babesiosis. Red blood cells, 
Prevalence, New York, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, different species of worldwide distribution. Tick bites, oxidus, and scapularis. That's the source of transmission. But this one is like New York got their own. New York, New York, big city of dreams. But everything in New York ain't always what you seem. Might be cool if you come from out of town. But I'm down by law. I know my way around. Too much. Too many worms. Too much. Damn. They got their own worm. Affects the red blood cells, y'all. Balant, Balantidiasis. Uh, it affects the intestinal mucosa. May become invasive in some patients. Um. They don't have a place where this one is prevalent. Um, ingesting of cysts, zoonotic infection acquired from pig feces. Blastocytosis. It affects the intestinal. Worldwide, one of the most common human parasites. United States, 23% of the population during year 2000. It infected 23%. Of the population of the uh, of United States um, during the year 2000, developing regions affect 40 to 100 percent of the total population. Eating food contaminated with feces from a from an infected human or animal kind of make you wonder what's going on in some of those slaughterhouses, huh? Some of these gardens, right? Some of these places we be getting our food, Cristo. Porodesis, it affects the intestines, is worldwide, no, it's widespread, ingestion of, you get it by ingestion of oocytes, sporulated, some species are zoonotic, bovine fecal contamination, cycloporiasis, um, it affects the intestines in the United States, ingestion ingest of oocytes through contaminated food, Dia, diatomibus, be, no, uh, diatomibosis, intestine stew up to 10% in industrial, industrialized countries, America, that include America, ingesting water or food contaminated with feces. Amoebiasis, intestines, mainly large, can go to ex, extreme, ex, extreme intestinal sites. Oh, intestines, mainly the large intestines. Stool, oh, um, areas with poor sanitation, high population density, and tropic regions. Fecal oral transmission of cyst, not amoeba. Assist, it's called giardesis. Lumen of the small intestines, widespread. Ingestion of cysts in fecal contaminated water or food can be zoonotic. Deer, beavers. Isoporiasis. Epithelial cells in small intestines. Worldwide less common than toxoplasma or, cytopos or cytosporidium. Fecal or oral route ingestion of sporulated oocyte. Um, this one is called less mana, less man, menaces, uh, continuous, mucutaneous, or viscerial, uh, worldwide, um, flow bottomous lutuzemia, bite of several species of plebotima, plebotima, Mine, sand flies. I told y'all I was gonna mess some of these up, right? We just don't, we ain't even make it here. Let's find it. Here we go. Primary amoebic meningitis facilitis brain, rare but deadly. Nasal insufflation of contaminated warm fresh water, Poor, poorly chlorinated swimming pools, hot springs, soil. Damn. Malaria. It affects the red blood cells and the liver. 
mosquito bites at night, tropical 250 million cases a year, rhinosporidiasis, nose, nasal pharynx, India and Sri Lanka, we won't go into that one, sarcocytosis, intestine muscles, widespread ingested of uncooked, undercooked beef, pork with sarcocytes. <gasps> Toxoplasmosis, eyes and brains, ingestion of uncooked, undercooked pork, lamb, goat with toxoplasma, brandoziotes, ingestion of raw milk with toxoplasma, toxoplasmosis, ingestion of contaminated water, food or soil with oocytes, and cat feces that is more than one day old. Trichinosis. Y'all know that one. Trichomonosis, right? Female, oral genital tract. Males, iso, uh, uh, asymptomatic. Worldwide, sexually transmitted. Infection only, trophizite form. No cyst. Sleeping sickness. Blood, lymph, and central nervous system. Um, 50 to 70,000 people only found in Africa. TC fly, day biting fly of the genus. Um, Chaga disease, Chagas disease, colon, um, esophagus, heart, nerves, muscle, and blood. Found in Mexico, Central America, South America, 16 to 18 million. Kissing bug, insect, vector needs at night. Alright, now, we ain't even into this. this that, that's the amoebas and shit, right? We don't part two. This protozoan organisms. Now, here we go with part three. Part two. Y'all ready? Tapeworm. Tapeworm. Tapeworm infection. Intestine stool. Rare. They say rare, but worldwide. How is it rare, but worldwide? That shit don't make no sense. Um, Diphalobothrisis. Tapeworm, intestine, blood, Europe, Japan, Uganda, Peru, Chile, ingested raw fish and water fish. Echoinocosis, livers, lungs, kidney, and spleen, Mediterranean countries. This one comes from a, as intermediate host ingestion of material contaminated by feces from a carnivore, as definite host ingested of uncooked meat. Awful from a herbivore. Um, carnivore dog. I mean, for those that don't know, dog. Hem, hemoplasticis. That one is just a mystery. Ingested the material contaminated by flower beetles, mealworms, cockroaches. Damn, say where this one at? I guess they try to motherfucker scared because we might got that one. This one is, it don't have, it don't tell you what it affect, it don't tell you where it's from, it don't, it just tell you how you get the shit. Alright. Beef tape worm. Intestines. Worldwide distribution, ingestion of undercooked beef. You know, the movies where they be talking about, I, I wanted the rare. Alright. Mm hmm Go on, try to be like those movies if you want to. Um, cystocerosis, pork tapeworm, brain, muscle, eye, cyst in conjunctiva anterior, chamber, sub, subretinal space, stool, blood, ingestion of undercooked pork. So pork got his own tapeworm, right? Some of us knew this, right? Bert. Bertialysis, it affects intestines, stew, they say rare, contact with non-human primates, so you got to get in contact with a monkey. Um, now, I got a question, but I'm going to leave that, I'm going to do some more research before I ask that question. Sparganosis, this one is a mystery too, adjust the material, contaminate with infected dog or cat feces. Humans, dead, and host. So this means that once again in us, 
it dies, I mean, it dies off, but this shit could live in you for a while, I'm, I'm saying, so it's called sparganosis, alright, now we into the flukes, so we just got done with tapeworms, we almost done, this one is chlorinorchiasis, gallbladder, duct, and inflammation of liver, I might be saying these wrong, prevalence in East Asian, ingestion of under prepared fresh water and fish, Lancet liver fluke, gallbladder, ingestion of ants. They say it's rare. You eat ants, you got this, motherfucker. Liver fluke, fat, fast, fasciolosis, liver, gallbladder, fasciosa, hertetica, Europe, Africa, Australia, the Americas, and Oceania, fasciola gigantica, only in Africa. In Asia, 2.4 million people infected by both species. A freshwater snail. You get this by fucking with snails. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I'm going to be honest. I, I'm going to shut up. Fasciopiasis. Intestine. Stool or vomitus. Oh, this is how they find it. East Asia, 10 million people. Ingestion infested. Water plants or water intermediate host amphibic snails. Metageomyosis, stool. You have find it Siberia, Manchuria, Balkan states, Israel, Spain. Ingestion, ingestion of undercooked or salted fish. Meteorogenesis, Canada, U.S., Greenland. Ingestion of raw fish. That's that for us sushi lovers. And I'm saying for us sushi lovers, right? Because I'm going to make some statements at the end of this, right? Um, Chinese liver flukes. Bile duct. 1.5 billion people in Russia consuming infected raw, salt, lightly salted, or frozen fish. Pargonomyosis. Lungs. East Asia, ingestion of raw, undercut, undercooked freshwater crabs, crayfish, or other crustaceans. Schistomyosis. Myosis. Mm. It says Biharzia, Biharziosis, or snail fever. Africa, 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 Caribbean, Eastern South America, East Asia. Middle East, 200 million people. Skin exposure to water contaminated with infected fresh water snails. Intestinal, intestinal, intestinal psychotomyosis. Intestines, liver, spleen, lungs, skin rarely infects the brain. Oh, thank you for staying away from the brain. Africa, Car Caribbean. South America, Asia, Middle East, 83 million people. Skin exposure to water contaminated with infected bioflammaria, freshwater snails. Urinary psychotomyosis. Kidney, bladder, uterus, lungs, skin. Skin exposure to water contaminated with infected boneless snails. All right, a lot of these are not in America. Um, cytotomyosis, China, East Asia, Philippines, skin exposure to water contaminated with infected. These snails are some motherfuckers. Asian psychotomosis. Alright, we're going to skip that one because that's another one with the snails. Enough with the snails. Now this one, don't even have an initial name. But it got echotomosa, echinatanum, small intestines. Far East, ingestion of raw fish, mullets, snails. So, those that eat sushi, you can catch that shit. Swimmer's itch. Worldwide, skin exposure, contaminated water, snails, and vertebrates. Ah, damn. So, every species got worms. Right? Got these little parasites. But let's go on a little bit. Round worms. I think, I think that'd be, an, I think that'd be enough to ruin your breakfast. Right, but just to get you thinking, right? And um, so we got anoclomitiasis or hookworm, lungs, small intestines, blood, common tropical, warm, moist climates, penetration of skin by L3 larva. That one, 
we might not have to worry about here yet. Um, and I want, you know, some of my rants, you know, when I say yet, because a lot of this shit come if we allow um, confusion and fuckery to continue in our politics where we go to war within our, within our, with ourselves. And next thing you know, we catch and shit like that. Uh, this one is NGO Strong I Strong Ialysis Intestines Ingestion Infected Feces Infected Slugs. Them slugs and goddamn. And and a psychiasis allergic reactions. So you might not even have um allergies. This thing just make you look like you have allergic reaction. Incidental host. Ingesting raw fish, squid, cuttlefish, octopus. God damn. Roundworm parasitic pneumonia. Did y'all hear that? Roundworm parasitic pneumonia. Intestines, liver, appendix, pancreas, lungs. Loeffler's syndrome. Common in tropical and subtropical regions. Roundworm. They just got the roundworm. Intestines, liver, lungs. Brain, eyes, rare North America stool from raccoons. Some of the raccoons could be trying to get some of y'all back because some of y'all used to fuck with some of them raccoons, right? Come shit up in your food or something. Roundworm, lymphatic filariasis, lymph nodes. Wow, shut down the lymph nodes, but this is a tropical region. All right. Died. Dictophemy renales infection, kidneys, rare, ingestion of undercooked or raw freshwater fish. Guinea worm. This one we won't read because it's um they about they trying to eradicate that one. Pin worm, intestines and anus, widespread temperate regions. That's y'all know that you get that shit here. Um, nat nathosomiasis, uh, sub subcutaneous tissue under the skin, rare Southeast Asian ingestion of raw uncooked meat, freshwater fish, chicken, snails, frogs, pigs, or contaminated water. Now I know some of y'all like brother Hatim, why are you reading all this? Because I want you to think about this, right? We have trade agreements from around where I go to a market called Saraga Market. And I walk in there, and I got food from everything. So I can find snails. I can find all types of shit up in there, right? Fish. They got fresh fish up in there. Fish swimming and shit. And then they got other fish. You know what I'm saying? We got trade agreements. We got chickens and shit coming from, um, coming from different countries now. Um, uh, Trump just um, sealed a deal where uh, uh, China take take our cows. We take their chickens, right? So I'm reading a lot of this because some of us may be eating this shit. And we don't even know it, right? And just by a lapse of attention, we might might not cook it thoroughly. We might have a fire up too high, and the, and 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 the warmth don't go all the way to the center. But I'm, let me get off of that. Um, we got helicyphobias. It affects the brain, soil contaminated wounds. So, so it don't even have a place where this happens. So it's like you got a wound that get contaminated with, with soil, right? Right? Soil is a possibility. You get a worm. Low, low filariasis, color bar swelling, connective tissue, lungs and eyes. Um, this is given by a horse fly bites in the day. Rainforest of West Africa, okay. Um, I don't know if they let in those motherfuckers in the country yet. Um, but I, I imagine if they pay $500,000, they get a special visa, right? Um, mansonellosis, filariasis, subcontinuous layers of skins, insect. They don't have a country where this shit is. River blindness, skin, eye tissue, semi black fire biting during the day. Africa, Yemen, Central, South America, near cool, fast flowing rivers. Everywhere I want to go. God damn. Strong lodiasis, parasitic pneumonia. 
intestines, lungs, skin, lava currents, skin penetration. They don't even have a country where this shit is. So this is everywhere. So some some pneumonias are parasitic. They're caused by parasites. They love eyes, Asia and Europe. Tox toxocaresis, liver, brain, eyes, worldwide distribution, PICA, unwatched food contaminated with toxic, tox, toxicara eggs, undercooked livers of chicken, PICA, right? You hear some people talking about your kid might got PICA, right? They chewing on walls and shit, you know what I'm saying, trying to look for, you know what I'm saying, this, this parasite can drive them to start eating their pencils and shit. That's what Pica does. You know what I'm saying? Eat the, you know, I'm leaving them. Henososis. Muscle, parabital region, small intestines. More common in developing countries due to improved feeding practices in developed countries. Ingestion of undercooked pork. Another. Oh, that's trichinosis. Oh. oh. Mm. Whipworm. It affects the large intestines, anus, common worldwide, accidental ingestion of eggs and dry goods such as beans, rice, and various grains or soil contaminated with human feces. You gotta start washing this shit off, y'all. Elephantitis. We know we don't get that over here, but it affects the lymphatic system. That's why you swell up like an elephant. Tropical and subtropical mosquito bites at night. At night. All right, family. So, we had 39 minutes. Sorry for the going over, but I felt that it was important that we talk about these different. I want y'all to think about all the areas. We, we talk about viruses that we could get here, or not virus, or parasites that we could get here that affect the eyes, affect the nasal cavity, affect, affect the skin, affect the lungs. Affects the liver, affect the, affect the kidneys, the intestines, right? Every part of us is susceptible to this, right? By us not taking care. Now, I'm gonna say this because I'm not I'm not so paranoid that I don't realize that some of the shit we gonna come in contact with anyway. But that's why we gotta have our protocols. This is why, for example, our ancestors talk about rituals and systematic lives, right? So there has to be a system with us, like the intermittent fast and giving our body time to to heal, time to digest food, time to battle some of that stuff, allowing your time, allowing your body to fast so that you can battle some of this shit, taking certain things on a regular basis so that you can strengthen up your own defenses. We can't stop ourselves from getting all this shit, but we can stop this shit from growing inside of us and controlling us. Right. So that we can win the battle within, because I think one of the reasons that we're not winning the battle without because we're not winning the battle within. And I honestly think that in a sense, our enemies, some people like to say white supremacy. I'm not into that shit, but I'm going to say it so that y'all understand me. I got to speak the language that y'all speak. Right. But the West Asians. Right. I think they recruited some of these motherfuckers and got them working in our community. I wouldn't even be surprised if some of this shit wasn't made. Some of it that they don't even mention is 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 uh, made in the laboratory designed to may have make us have certain cravings, make us have certain reactions. Right. Because we are we're awful emotional. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're awful prone to certain shit. And I'm wondering if some of that shit that we're prone to and some of that shit that we're doing and some of the food that we're eating, could a parasite have been developed to help us in our decision making? To help pull us towards it? Because they, I mean, they know the effects of these things. Right? I'm like this. I mean, you know, giant warfare. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it moved to parasitic warfare. You know, I'm just like, yo, so, hey, we got to try to keep our bodies clean. So, I'm on my fourth day of my fast. I don't know if I'm going to make it through the day, y'all. Y'all need to, y'all need, y'all need to comment let me know how long y'all want me to do this shit, right? You know what I'm saying? And then if I can't do this one that long, I do the next one that long. Because this is going to become a regular part of my thing, especially with y'all. Also, I need to go on and advertise one of my sponsors. Put it up there where you at. There you go. Y'all see it? 
I want y'all to see the number. Where the number at? Uh, Almalika Hair and Body Butter. 937-705-5558. Right? I'm going to use this right after I get out of my cold shower. I got to go get my son up because it's time for him to start practicing his computer. What are you going to master today, family? That's going to be one of the next things we talk about. Mastery. After we get through the herbs, because I need to go and talk to y'all about the ginseng. I need to talk to y'all about the tart cherry. I need to re-talk to y'all about the dandelion root. I need to re-talk to y'all about that burdock root. Because those are two dynamic herbs that help your body get ready to battle some of these parasites. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking that a lot of these sicknesses, the autoimmune, like I said, like I said, a lot of these autoimmune diseases can be caused by parasites because it affects the same parts of the body. So by us not having a healthy, a healthy uh, microbiome, by our by us not having that healthy gut bacteria working for us, like we got those of us that's sipping on this ambrosia, those of us that's slipping on that ACV, right? Those that's, that's that you know because I'm coming out with the, with the vinegar. Now, those that are interested in getting the vinegar, or even those that want the detox drink, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that shit, right? The detox drink that not only helps clean out your body, but one, helps helps help detox the liver and help get rid of these goddamn parasites. The reason I'm focusing on the liver, because the liver produces bile, and that bile, um, that bile is anti-parasitic. Parasites can't stand the bile that the liver produce, so we need to clean up that liver, right? So, I'm going to drink my drink, I'm going to take my shit, I'm going to gargle, I'm, I'm going to do my uh, my uh, coconut oil, oil letting. Um, I'm going to finish cleaning up the kitchen, so I don't have to have no beef with my wife. I'm going to get my son up so he can do his studies, and tomorrow, tomorrow, Unless I get hit by some more parasitic information, we will be talking about dandelion root. All right. Um, then I think I'm gonna do either the review of the uh, black seed oil, or I'm gonna do moving to the next herb because we definitely gotta talk about tart cherry because that's a new flavor. All right, and I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jeremy Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.